Everything you're about to see in this video is for educational and research purposes only. I do not condone piracy and I do not condone any wrongful use of this application. Let's get into the video. What's going on? It's Kev Obato and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the RGSX games downloader on Retrobat. But you know me, let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the video. First things first, to install the RGSX games downloader on your machine, it's super easy and we're gonna make it super simple. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description to the RGSX GitHub, but if you don't click that link, you can Google RGSX and it's gonna be the first link. I mean, it's, it's really that simple. So we're gonna click on this first link here. All right, so here's the RGSX GitHub page here and all we're gonna do is scroll down until we see the install, the installation instructions here. So we're not gonna do the automatic, that was for Botticera. I have a video for that. If you're running Botticera, I'll leave it up in the top right so you can click that and watch that video. Um, but for here on Retrobat, we're gonna do it the manual way. So in order to do that, we're gonna click this link here again. I will leave it in the description. It's gonna download a file. We'll wait for that to finish. All right, now the file is finished downloading. We can go ahead and unzip it. Now that you have the RGSX file extracted, we're gonna go ahead and go into it. And here are the folders we need down here. Now, we're gonna to need to open another window. So let's do that now. And we're going to go to our Retrobat directory, wherever yours is. Mine's at local disk C, Retrobat. And then we're gonna go into ROMs. Now in ROMs, all we've gotta do is drag and drop the files in each one. So we'll open up ports first. And then you'll go into here into ports and you'll drag all this over and drop it into your ports folder. I've already done it, so I'm gonna skip, but you get the idea. And then we're gonna go back. We're gonna look for PY game. We're gonna go into the PY game folder in the RGSX folder. So here's the PY game folder. And then we're gonna drag this over here. Hopefully you get the idea. Again, I've already done it, so I'm just skipping these files here. But last but not least, we go to Windows, and then we go back over to our Retrobat directory into ROMs, and we find the Windows folder that is here. And then all we've gotta do is one last time, drag and drop all of this over here. And again, I've already done it, so I'll skip it. Now that you've done that, you're really done. Let's go ahead and start up Retrobat and make sure that it is working properly. Here we are in Retrobat and we can go into our Windows folder. And as you can see, we've got RGSX right here. We can go ahead and click on that. And bazinga. There is, and you can click allow on this. Click allow on this, if this pops up. Click allow. <laughs> Ah, uh, and there we go. We now have the RGSX games downloader on our Retrobat. I'll show you, here's Windows, on our Retrobat machine. All right, so here are a couple of tips and tricks for the RGSX games application. Now it's been through many, many updates. So there's a lot of new stuff that I don't even know about, but the, it still stands that if you're using a PS4 controller or an Xbox controller, um, a lot of these controllers will come pre-configured so we don't have to go in and do the controller inputs anymore. They're already built in. But if you want to, you can go in and go to controls and change your controls. I'm not going to do that because everything's working fine for me. But and on the PS4 controller, it is the option key and that will get you straight into the settings and then you can go in here you can change your language you can change the games that are displayed and this is where you can go in and add your api keys if you have a one fisher or real debris or all debris key you can add those there and that will give you access to a few extra systems that you normally couldn't use or it will unlock the full download speed for those consoles so support Oh, that is awesome. Even here, generate a diagnostic zip file for support. This is amazing. He's added this in. If you have any issues, you run that and then you can send him that file and that will get you help as fast as possible. I mean, it's just really that simple. All right, so another cool thing that you can do with the RGSX application, we're gonna go in here 
back into Windows and open the RGSX app. All right, so one of the cool things that you can do on your RetroBat machine with the RGSX games application is you can go and get your IP address. We'll do that very quickly now. We'll go over here to the Wi-Fi shimbel. And then we'll click this little I right here. And it should give us an IP address somewhere. Should be able to use this one. Yeah, I'm going to copy it. Copy. Then we're going to head over to our web browser. Maybe. And you can do this on any computer or phone, tablet, etc. That's on the same network. HTTP. My computer's IP address with 5,000 at the end. And boom. And I'll leave that bigger so you can see. So it's going to be your IP address with 5,000 at the end. That's the port. And this is the web interface. You can download games directly from the web browser on your phone on a separate computer that way you don't even have to be on the machine to use this feature so this is just a really cool add-on something that i really think uh just takes the rgsx application to the next level being able to download stuff directly from a web interface i mean this is amazing as you can see we are on the internet and again this doesn't have to be on the same machine you can use other computers or devices as long as you're on the same network or you can get tail scale and even use it remotely, but that is a story for another day. <laughs> well, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you like what you saw, give me a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe. Come on. All right. All right. I'll catch you in the next video. If you're hearing this message, then that means that you stuck around past the end of the video. When I said the video was over, for whatever reason, you decided that it was a good idea to keep watching. And I'll say that I really appreciate you. Boy, do I appreciate the loyal viewers. I appreciate anyone who watches my videos all the way through, even if you did it by accident. Or maybe you're watching on a TV right now and you just didn't, you know, you're just waiting for this to change. If that's the case, then I'll go ahead and shut up. <laughs> no, but really, I, I want to shout out to you guys. You guys are what I like to call the one percenters. So. If you're not already, go over there and join Discord. If you don't know, it's completely free. And if you're hearing this message, then message me over there on Discord, the word sausage. And then I know that you heard this and that you're the realist and that you're loyal and that you're just you know, amazing. And I'm going to upgrade you um, to a special status in the Discord server. But all right, that, that's enough talking. In the background, that is... Transformers on the Ring Edge 2. I think I'm using Techno Parrot to emulate this. this. Is really awesome stuff here. But anyways, 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 that's enough. That's enough. The video is really over now, so you're gonna have to find something else to do.